Good afternoon, YouTube. So I'm leaving my, my favorite little spot there, Express Truck Parts and Chrome, right here off of I-10 in North Wayside. Y'all know where I get my stuff at. So uh, I've been running errands like crazy today. So I went by the uh, post office and I got a gift uh, from one of our subscribers. So we'll open that here in a little bit. Uh, I have to get my wife's AC fixed. This is why I'm driving her car. I have to get the AC fixed in this thing. Got that done. Um, I went by the truck, started working on the truck a little bit. Just to kind of diagnose and see where the, uh, I'm having some air leaks. To see where my uh, air leaks are coming from. And I think I kind of figured out where, where they're coming from. So I went ahead and got some fittings. There's one that goes from like the air tank to the back of the transmission. Uh, I think the fitting that goes on the part of the transmission is leaking. So I bought some fittings. And then, um, what else? And then I bought some clamps. Yeah, let me show y'all. These things for my, uh, the air hoses that are back there above the uh, differential in front of the fifth wheel. So I bought some of these to kind of separate the, uh, the hoses a little bit since he was threatening to give me a ticket for uh, my airlines touching. So bought some of these too, because next week is Blitz week. So today is Saturday, it is Saturday afternoon. Looks like I've been running errands all day. And uh, been running errands, trying to get ready for Blitz week. Trying to get the, t the truck in tip top shape. Cause we're going up to uh, Huntsville. Well, we're going down to Laredo and then we're working our way out to, Hunts to uh, Huntsville, Alabama and Leesburg, Alabama, and then going back down to Laredo. And so I wanna be definitely prepared. So we went to my usual spot. If y'all need anything, y'all hit up Express Truck Parts and Chrome. I have uh, their phone number down there in the, in the uh, description below. But uh, let's get down here to the yard and uh, get to work. The wasp. God, where'd you come from, dude? I don't play around with the wasp, man. But anyway, so we made it here to the truck. And uh, first thing I'm gonna do is So these two are faced two different ways. So this is where he was saying they were touching, which there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, so. But he still tried to wrap me up for it. So I'm trying to find a way to put this on there. So they're not touching, but that might rub against that right there, the vibration. But they're facing two different ways, so. I'll figure that out here in a little bit, but I got my tarp laid down. I gotta climb up under this bad boy and uh, replace some fittings. Uh, all right. All right, what are we doing here? Ah, there we go. All right, what size fitting? So I got three fittings here. I think this is gonna be a winner. So there's our culprit right here. See so you have the transmission here. You got part of the drive shaft there. Then you got the hot exhaust right here. So that's what we're looking like. Follow the drive shaft right there on the other side of the drive shaft. This fitting right here is what's leaking. So all it is is just a wrench and a quick connect fitting right there, so. I'm trying to use this wrench to hold it in place. All right, there's our, our air hose here. I, mean, I didn't think so, but this thing is larger than I, 
a 9 16th is what I have here. So I'm going to have to find a different wrench to get it out of there. Let me see here. Yeah, I got to find a bigger wrench. All right, please be the right size. So I have 18. Listen up my hand. She's off. Woo! I'm still on my face. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Yeah, let's match it up to see which one fits. Should be able to hand tighten it on there so it looks like these two are the same size but those two are not that's why i got different sizes okay these two are the same up oh, and these two are the same too i don't know which one i needed so i just got all the other i should be able to hand tighten this on here Got the wrong one, ladies and gentlemen. Crap. Everything else is right except this one piece. Well, that was a fail, so I put everything up, 
Uh, today is Saturday and it's after five o'clock. So all of the parts stores are closed. So we're gonna try this again. So I'm going home and take a shower, chill out for the evening. And then, uh, thank God I got this AC fixed in this car. Uh, go home, take a shower, relax for the evening. And then tomorrow we gotta take this load out to Laredo and I'll be back home Monday, Tuesday. So we'll try it again and get the right part that we need and go from there, so. Oh man, better luck next time. Home sweet home. Let's have the best shower of my life. But you know who you are. So we just opened up the uh, the Amazon box that came in to, uh, came in from the post office, and uh, I, I got your email. And you told me not to showcase this, but I couldn't just not do it. So the wife loved. <laughs> The Amazon gift card. She can probably buy everything in her little wish list thingy now. Uh, kids are going to love this, but if I'm being honest, I'm being selfish. They're not getting that. I'm, I'm keeping that. And then the... Uh, <laughs> the... Uh, the lock socks. Which actually, hold on, hold on, hold up. Oh, oh hold up, hold up. I tried to put it on, but my head is so big, it won't fit. However, my oldest son is uh, growing his locks out. So these would be perfect for him. So when he gets back, I'm gonna have him try one of these on. Actually, it's funny that you sent, you sent these, because ever since I've been wearing mine around the house, he's been wanting some. So, uh-oh, I, I got one. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I didn't get that fixed. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm ratchet right now. I just got the shower. Hair is, ugh. So yeah, I'm ratchet right now. But uh, yeah, so when he gets home, I'm gonna have him put it on because he's been asking for some that now that he started his, what we call lock journey. But uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'll, I'll trade with him. I'll give him the lock socks. I'm keeping the truck. This is actually going in my room so they don't get their hands on it. But the, uh, the wife and kids are uh, out on a evening walk. I wanted to go with him, but I've had enough of that sun today. That Texas heat man been out there this morning, getting her car fixed and then rushing down to, uh, not rushing, but Chrome store or parts store. And then I've been working on a truck all freaking day. I didn't showcase everything all on camera, but I've been working on that thing all freaking day. But thank you, anonymous person who sent this. I know who you are. But uh, my wife, she loved the Amazon gift card. And also, Texas vet. Actually, Texas vet, let me show you what she did to uh, the air freshener. She's got it on a fan. And she sleeps here. So she's going to get the, uh, the breeze. But y'all have been showing all kinds of love. Uh, the past couple of days so uh, uh i'm gonna chill out so they'll be back in a few minutes so i'm gonna eat whatever dinner is left on the stove that they did not eat and try to eat as much as i can before they get back and uh probably watch a movie or something tonight with, with them hang out with the family for a little bit maybe uh play some tunes on the piano uh not the drums i'm i need to make too much noise i got a headache from that sun but uh I may have a surprise for you guys at the end of the video, but it might be on the the, uh, the thumbnail if it happens. If it doesn't happen, it won't be on the thumbnail. Unless something more exciting happens. I don't know. But uh, let me uh, find something to eat because she made some kind of a uh, steak. She made some steak there. And she's got some kind of other, I guess those are ri ribs. Like, yeah, these are like ribs here. So I'm gonna eat. And I'll catch you guys here uh, probably in the morning, which will be Sunday, Sunday morning. All right, guys, it is Sunday. Big shout out to B Lane Fitness, y'all. Uh, it is Sunday, and we are leaving the house. Let's 
stuff in my garage door for clothing. I had a honey do list today. I went ahead and uh actually uh <laughs> here's my tire from uh that steer tire I had taken off from the steer anyway. Uh I'm gonna keep it as a spare. It's only got a uh you little in like you got that little spot right there. But the tread is really good, like it's basically a brand new tire. And it's got that little mark, that little spot right there. A little indention. Right there, right there. But we make a good trailer tire for somebody, so I have it on up for sale on uh Facebook Marketplace. And I have that tire. The 18 wheels gave me that tire. Oh, oops. So I'm gonna lay that down here. And uh Maybe somebody will buy it. So I got those two tires there. But anyway, had a crap ton of honeydew lists. So y'all know yesterday I got the AC fixed to her car. Uh, something else I did with it too. AC fixing her car, got her car situated. Uh, pressure wash the porch back there in the backyard. That took me a couple of hours to do. I pressure wash my floor mats from the Ram because they were dirty and filthy, it's my work truck. Uh, had to go through and get the sizes for the filters throughout the house uh, so I can replace the filters. Also, y'all know we run off of uh, septic tanks out here where we live. And so uh, I've got the little tablet peel thingies for the uh, septic tank. Uh, what else? But the main thing was pressure washing that, that back porch because it was pretty bad. Our dog made a mess back there. But uh, yeah, just knocking out some honeydew list next. The garage is a mess again. Uh, we got a bunch of monastery stuff for the kids for the homeschooling. And so we got to sort through that and figure out what's what. Some stuff that we've been kind of sorting through that we need to give away or sell, but we're probably gonna give it away. We don't usually sell sell stuff. I got to sort through all the 18 wheeler stuff back there, microwave and all that stuff to see what I want to put in the Pro Star. Uh, I will be getting a fridge for the Pro Star. Mr. Bearded Diesel guy sent me a link of a fridge that uh, Target has on sale. Well, on clearance actually so i'm gonna go get that uh probably tuesday when i get back in town ah. but yeah so i've been knocking out honeydew list that's why i didn't really do much recording while i was home uh i got some repairs on this truck i need to get done and then i do have she's got a slight misfire in her car i, I need to get figured out our neighbor down like three houses down he's a like a certified mechanic and so he's got one of the fancy scanners. And so I'm gonna have him throw his computer on there and see if he can figure out what's what. So today's agenda, so, and also the mechanic is down and working on a truck. So that market light went out again. So I just had him replace the whole harness uh, cause he was able to fix it. It went out again when I did my post trip the other night. And so uh, he replaced the whole harness, it works now. He did look at the, uh, the shaking I was having, especially when I hit my brakes. And we're thinking it's the drums. And of course, it would be the drums during brake check week on Blitz week. So uh, today is Sunday. I cannot buy any drums because all the parts stores are closed. So uh, that is going to be our deal on Tuesday. So I'm going to run out here to Laredo, drop this load off in the morning, and then I have a load dropping hook that's coming back to Houston, Ikea, a typical Ikea stuff. Coming to Houston, I'll be back home tomorrow night. And then Tuesday morning, we'll be working on the truck, getting the drums replaced. And uh, the air leak, he actually had the fitting I needed for the, for the air leak, thank God. And so uh, he fixed that. So no more audible air leak on the truck. We're getting it ready for Blitz Week, making sure ain't nothing wrong with that truck. So I already got one DOT or failed a DOT inspection. But... Uh, but yeah, I'm surprised he didn't hear the air leak. I think he was just so busy trying to find something that he didn't hear the air leak, unless it wasn't leaking at the time. I didn't really notice it until yesterday, no, Friday. Friday's when I really noticed it. What was it, Thursday? Thursday or Friday's when I noticed it. Oh, guys, this house is for sale. It's going for like $700,000. And you 
guy want to be my neighbor. But, uh, got a pool. But anyway, guys, it is hot out here. Let me enjoy some of this AC on blast. But, uh, yeah, the wife and I just, uh, just trying to come up with a, a plan. You know, just trying to budget everything and figure out what we want to knock out next over these next couple of weeks. And the backyard will be on the top priority next. I'm getting our backyard taken care of. Y'all know it's a jungle back there, literally. But, uh, anyway, I will, uh, catch up with you guys once we get down here to the yard. All right, so we made it back here to the yard. Uh, let's go through and pre-trip the truck. When we fixed this the other day, I guess I didn't show y'all. Let's turn the market lights on and voila. Airbags are picking up the trailer. I dropped it a little low, I shouldn't have. Once that airs up, we'll, uh, <clears throat> we will, what, what will we do? Listen for the air leak. So I'm gonna go through and pre-tripper. We got a, just a six hour drive down to Laredo. I'm gonna take the interstate, cause I can take two ways. I don't like taking 59 down there, if you know where you're going out here. I don't like taking 59, cause for 59, a lot of stopping and going and this this, this is the load we picked up in uh, baton rouge the other day and this thing is uh 45,000 pounds all the starting and stopping and starting and stopping not no bueno so i actually dropped y'all dropped it really low y'all see how much gap there is all right she's aired up and she had air when i got here so the old fitting we, we took off yesterday and i guess he had one he said he fixed it he had the one i needed so actually let's cut oh what i get in here let's cut this off and listen for some air leaks let's turn off the ram Y'all keep quiet. I hear another leak. Yeah, I hear one. I think it's the one that uh, goes into the air dryer. I think. Uh, where's the air dryer at? Yeah, the one that goes right back in there. But it sounds like it's coming from over here. But we'll get that handled next week. I need him to take the part off for me. And then we'll go down there to the, either the part store, see if they have it. If not, we'll go to, to the, uh, the dealer, get it from them. But there is a slight little air leak. Yeah, there's a little one, so. We'll uh, get that fixed Tuesday when we get back. So let me go ahead and crank her back up and uh, let her get warmed up. And we will get on out of here, y'all.
get some fuel. So fuel here is uh, 251 a gallon. With my last star discount. And it is uh, 355 at the pump. So we're saving a dollar four cents a gallon. Beat it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill all the way up. I don't need to fill all the way up for this next load, but actually it's probably about the same if not cheaper in Laredo. But I'm gonna go ahead and get it from here regardless. That way we ain't gotta stop tonight. And maybe not tomorrow either. Oh man. y'all guys older than me do it man I am 30 years old and I can already feel it in my knees getting in and out of this truck but I'm gonna try something a little bit different today got some mango slices man they got yellow dye in this too Always putting crap in our food, man. Because it says no artificial flavors. You know, grain free. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And now I read the back of this thing. It was six freaking dollars for this little thing. But it's got a yellow number six. Yellow dye. Mango, cane sugar, citric acid, calcium chloride, sulfur dioxide, dioxide. All right, y'all. I oh, will catch y'all here in a little bit. Let's get some miles in. We're fueled up. That gave us about, I put uh, about 388 bucks in there, 111 gallons. And it got us right over uh, three quarters, seven eighths of a tank. So that should get us down there and back. So, uh, I do not want to drive, but I got these to kind of keep me awake. So let's get some miles in y'all.
driving and I heard air leaking from the trailer valve so we're gonna go check to see what's going on uh, I think we have an obvious issue here So what did it come off? But thankfully we pulled into a, a loves with a speed co mechanic shop. So let's go see if they're open. Well guys. <laughs> that will end our day. So they're closed. They just closed. And so uh, we are stuck out here. We're probably about 45 minutes away from the Landstar Terminal. 45 minutes away. Just fall out of there. So let's see here. That's where our air leak is coming from, right there. Yeah, so it's just this one. Hmm. Oh man. I'm trying to think if there's a way I can bypass it. just to get down to the terminal. Cause if I'm at the terminal, they can fix it when I get down there. Cause this shop here, they open at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Thankfully I'm past the scale house. That is good. Uh, it's for leaving out in the morning. Dang man. Is there a way I can bypass it? I can tie him up and bypass him.
That's the airline that releases the trailer brakes. Yeah, then I'm 45,000 pounds. I, mean, I can bypass it, but I am not gonna have any uh, any trailer brakes. And being that heavy, there's no way. I guess we'll hang out here at the loves out here, because we're not going anywhere with that. But thankfully, I was able to get to a place safe. Uh, but I can hear, so guys, when you're driving around, I know some people like to jam with the music and have the music up loud or whatever. Don't do it. Because if I had the music up loud, I hear I have my music or my radio or whatever just loud enough so I can hear what's going on around me. But that's also, don't put two uh, like headphones or AirPods in your ears. Listen to what's going on around you. I could hear the hissing sound from the air and I was like, okay. So the first thing I did, check my air gauges and I could see they were at like, cause usually they sit at about, what, 120? Let's see. Okay, I've got air pressure now. Well. Yeah, it's dropping. It's dropping quick. Pushing my red knob there. Even if I idle high, I'm not able to maintain that air. Because usually I sit at like 100, 100, 120 to 125 PSI on my brakes. And then I looked down, it was our, it was like down to about 100 PSI, and I was like, okay. Then down to 95 PSI, and I was like, oh, here we go, the 90 and such and such. And we made it here like about 65 PSI right, right before the warning light came on. But another janky trailer. So we're about 45 minutes away. But I had a surprise for you guys. Which is, anyway, I guess you'll have to find out next video what my surprise was. To make matters worse, I pulled into a handicap spot because it's right here next to the uh, next to the shop. So I'm sleeping in a handicap spot tonight. Actually, I can probably move. Yeah, I can move. I just really don't want to be in a handicap spot. That's that's, that's weird. Uh, I don't want to block anybody from parking here. So I'll find a spot to pull in because I can get. I can uh, build air pressure. It won't be for long, but I can build air pressure just to be able to get out the spot. Dang, man. But he said, hopefully they have the, the spot. I mean, the spot. They have the part in, uh, in stock tomorrow. If not, they got to order the part. And ain't no telling how long that's going to take. So at seven tomorrow morning, I'll just walk in, walk in there and see, see what they say. Right. Why is it every time I get ready to move or do something? Even when I was pulling in here, that truck in front of me was just taking a sweet, precious time. All right, dude, move. I'm trying to get in the park. All right, let's build air pressure because I just lost a lot of it. The truck just pulled in here. There's a spot literally right here in front of me, so I'm gonna see if I can just make a, uh, a U-turn. Actually, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Let me see if I can do this. 
a spot next to me. There's a spot behind me I can I can pull into. There's a bunch of spots, okay. Yeah, that's about 90 PSI. And we're maintaining at about 95 PSI. Man, I can't believe that. Yeah, so we'll park here between these trucks. Oh, man. So, guys, I've got nothing else for you today. Another janky trailer. I don't know how that fell off. We went through and pre-tripped the truck and everything. So we've had this trailer for... We got this trailer from Walmart. This is the one we got from the Walmart facility out there in Opelousas. You know, my hands are dirty touching the, touching the thing. Why? Why me? Hopefully, prayerfully, they have the part tomorrow. Which they should have them all the time. I'm, I'm, I can promise that's probably a thing they all, that that breaks down often. But hopefully they have it. And they can throw it on there for me. I can drop this load off. Thankfully, my pickup is a dropping hook at the uh, Landstar terminal. So, in the place we're going to deliver this load at is where we broke down but my uh, transmission went out on this truck when I was stuck in that dock out there in Laredo I had to get towed that's the place we're going to place I always go to so always something man but this shouldn't mess my money up so that's all that matters so thankfully I caught it and we're not on the shoulder somewhere broke I'm gonna lie to you, we be, we would be better off broke down on the side of the road and have to call roadside. Even if I just pull out <laughs> on the road right here, but then it wouldn't be safe. So we hang out here. Hopefully they have it. If not, I will find a reason to call roadside tomorrow. And we'll go from there. So guys. Thank you all for watching. Um, this is Lone Star Texas Ranger signing off. I will catch you guys at noon Central Standard Time tomorrow.